unbelievably beautiful. And you've introduced them, so let's get I started. Know. Sorry, <laughs> he's sitting right there. I can't. Arizona ignore. Highways Magazine, of course. We know it is hot outside here in the Valley of the Sun, and the truth is, it's just going to keep getting hotter. 116, I've heard. It's going to be oh. on Friday. What is going on? So to help you cool off, we've brought in Robert Steve. He's the editor in chief of Arizona Highways Magazine to show us the July 12th issue. 12 of their favorite places to pitch a tent. I love this. The front is just beautiful. The cover is gorgeous. And a lot of folks, I have to admit, I've never done the camping thing. Yeah. So you have to convince me that this is how I should start doing my vacations <laughs> with the family. For folks who haven't pitched a tent, tell me about camping. What are we missing? Well, camping is, there's a, there's a wide range of ways to do it. We, mm -hmm. we focus on really the simplest way, which is what we call car camping. You pull up to a campsite in your car. could be your Prius. You don't need anything rugged to get to these campsites. And you can unload your trunk, set up your tent, and, and hang out in the woods and, and enjoy the cooler temperatures. I so. love that. And this is a great place to do s'mores and have campfire Absolutely. songs. And, okay, the 12 best spots. Let's start with one of your favorites. Well, you know, there, there are so it, you know, it kind of depends on where you're headed. What we're seeing here is actually up by Kingman, which is a place people, you know, especially here in the valley, might not think about it as a place to go camping. Mm -hmm. The uh, Wallapai Mountain uh, Recreation Area up there. Uh, you get up into the high pines and aspens, and it's actually beautiful. There's some teepees you can rent up there, so if you don't have your own tent, you can actually. Right. And it's great with kids. And 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 the other great thing about camping, it's 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 almost free. It's not quite free, <laughs> but it's extremely affordable. But once you get all the stuff you need, yeah. once you get the tents and the mm -hmm. supplies, are right. you pretty much good? For, yeah. At that point. Pretty much okay. anywhere, and especially the kind of campsites we talk about in here. And you know, and then the kids can use the tent, and the the sleeping bags in the backyard, and when the weather cools that. down too. So. Yeah. You can double up on the usage. Yes, and you love sunrise at Lockett Meadow. Tell us about that campground. Yeah, Lockett Meadow is is one of those the, the, the most beautiful spots. Whether you're camping or hiking or just uh, you know reading a book, um, right. and it's up by Flagstaff uh, near the San Francisco Peaks. And um, as you can see in that 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 shot there, it's it's a beautiful spot. Yes, and lakefront uh, campsite. Now um, a lot of people say, you know what, I'm going camping, but I still got canoeing in. Yeah. I got a lot of water mm -hmm. activities, and this sure. is one of the, the the better campsites for that. Yeah, and, and in the in the issue, we talk about the different facilities and, and things that are available mm -hmm. there. And the other thing to take note of is a lot of these are first come, first serve. Some of them take oh. reservations. We we spell that out as well inside, but. Um, you know, a lot of them though are are kind of in remote spots. So even if they are first come, first serve, mm -hmm. uh, it, you're not they're not going to fill up anyway. Right, so. they're not going to fill up, so you don't feel like you have to. You the know, pressure. Call ahead yeah, and you're supposed to be going there to like relax. At a, yeah, at a hotel, you know, you can sometimes, you know, sorry. Yeah, we're right. completely sold Absolutely. out, or you know, we're booked for the weekend. Yeah. And this one was very interesting because this is in the Apache Sitgreaves National Forest of Eastern Arizona. Yeah, this is uh, this is. Um, uh, up, up. Uh, well, actually, I think we're looking at Ashurst Lake here. This one's up a little bit uh, east of Flagstaff, and and you mentioned boating and canoeing mm -hmm. and, and the option to to get out in the water. And this is a great great spot there. And again, people go to Flagstaff and they think of Lock and Meadow, which we just talked about. Mm -hmm. This is something unexpected. We try to do that in the issue. I mean, there's obvious things that we want to talk about, but it's also about insight. Absolutely. Okay, now we're going to go to the, the Apache, right? Yeah. The, okay, the Apache Secrets. Now, this one is what? Pretty high, 9,000 feet in elevation. Yeah, here. this is called KPC and Aga. This is the same campground that was on the cover, just a different perspective. And this is one of those that's first come, first serve. I think there's only five or six campsites there, but you'll almost never see anybody there. Mm -hmm. The one thing I do want to squeeze in is, you know, we talk about leave no trace uh, ethics and, and the right. issue about, you know, there are fire restrictions in the forest right now. Obviously, with what's happening at Brown Prescott, you really have to, to pay attention Absolutely. to the rules there. They, they will fine you and, and for good reason. So, you know, get out to the woods and even if you have to go out without a campfire, it's still a great way to get outside. You know, and, it, and again, you know, back to that, we, we think we, we go through this devastation, mm -hmm. you know, year after year during the high fire danger. Sure. And even when we were driving to a staycation, extreme, you know, yes. is on the, the billboards out there just reminding you not only you know when it comes to fires but your own personal absolutely get the water in get the sunscreen get the bug repellent do all those things yeah right? and we do spell a little of that out too and we do have a good recipe for s'mores in there not that it's <laughs> actually, actually it's more about the history the recipe hasn't changed but it's where the it history started of yeah I love started that. with girl scouts it was in yeah. one of their handbooks way back i when. love that and then the camping guide uh, for more information yeah we've got a camping guide it's a brand new book that just came out and mm -hmm. it you know takes these oh, 12 great. and expands it to to 100 so um, it's it's a wonderful book that that you know 
Plan, plan a hundred the, different campgrounds. It'll keep you busy for a while. I love this because it's a hundred of the best campgrounds in Arizona. Yeah, and we so only scratched the surface. I was about to say, yeah. this is just in our state. We're just feeling good about our yeah. own campgrounds right here. And there's a lot. Yeah, there are. And again, it's it's a great thing to do with kids. Mm -hmm. I, I can't stress that enough. It's we can Get the kids out in the woods and let them pick up some pine cones and get some fresh air. And, and some, mom and dad can cool off, too. I love that. Get some dirt under their nails. There you right? go. Exactly. Put the electronics down. You do <laughs> not get to bring the, uh, all of the fun gadgets that we're so used to. Yeah. Get in touch with nature. Well, look at this. It's absolutely beautiful. This is the July issue of Arizona Highways Magazine. It is on newsstands right now. And we have put a lot more information for you on SonoranLiving.com so you and your family can get packing and get out there and enjoy the beautiful, beautiful campgrounds around our state. As always, Robert, thank you thank so you much. Thank you so much.